Imperial Japan had some incredibly weird prototypes towards the end of its existence. One of the weirdest is this guy, the Kyushu J7W Shinden, designed specifically to be able to intercept and take down the B-17 Flying Fortress and eventually the B-29 Super Fortress, both of which have been utterly decimating Japan's factories. Thus, the Imperial Japanese Navy had teams set out to solve this dilemma. A member of the technical staff of the Japanese Navy, Captain Masoki Tsuruno, would lead the effort for the Shinden project. The idea was at least simple in theory. A radical canard style design to be powered by a turbojet that could overcome everything the United States could field. To prove his concept, the team at the first naval air technical arsenal out of Yokosuka built three MXY6 canard gliders from wood. It would seem like these gliders were powered multiple ways, one being a small four-cylinder engine. These gliders were tested in the fall of 1943 and were a big success, so much so that the Navy ordered the Kyushu Hikoki firm to go forward with the canard interceptor. It should be noted that this company wasn't the best choice and didn't have any experience building a craft of this caliber. But the firms that were much more capable were overburdened by their workloads at this time. To help with this task, the Navy transferred several engineers, including Masaoki Suruno, who would lead a design team to help. They started their work in June 1944, with the stress test done in January 1945, and the first full prototype was in. The Kyushu engineering team decided to mount the engine backwards, that engine being the Mitsubishi MK9D radial engine and drove a six-blade propeller. By the way, specifications for the craft are on the screen. To cool this engine, it had intakes mounted on the sides of the fuselage. This actually caused issues while running the engine while on the ground. There was also a lack of appropriate equipment parts. These two things would eventually delay the craft's first flight. I did mention that this craft was designed to take down American bombing craft. To do this, it was equipped with four 30mm Type 5 autocannons in its nose. The weight of these cannons actually helped to balance the weight of the engine and propeller in the back. These cannons also fired at 450 rounds per minute, around about, making this craft very powerful for the time. Another interesting thing to note is they had a tricycle style landing gear, that is, one wheel under the nose and one under each wing. Now this is pretty common today, but back then it was actually rather rare. Now, before the first flight happened, the Imperial Navy ordered this craft into production as they were desperate and just reaching for some type of miracle weapon. They planned to be able to put out 150 of these craft at two separate locations each month, with the hopes of opening up more locations down the line. On August 3rd, 1945, Captain Surono made the first flight. During the flight, he kept the landing gear down just in case. The craft pulled hard to the right during takeoff and the propeller and drive shaft vibrated pretty hard. He would fly the craft on the 6th and 9th as well, the same days that the bombs were dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. In the end, the Shinden flew a total of 45 minutes. A second prototype was delivered, however, it never was taken up in the air though it is suspected of having the problems that the first craft had fixed. I would also like to have you note that the Kyushu firm was also laying out plans for a turbojet version. The war would then end on September 2nd, 1945 with the surrendering of Japan. Of the two prototypes, only one survived as the Air One was scrapped. Which one is anyone's guess? Either way, the craft was dismantled in late 1945 and shipped to the United States and then reassembled there. However, it was never flown.